Well, Manu Terradios, my colleague on our Spanish service, joins us now in the studio. Uh, Manu, this sounds like quite an extraordinary story. How did these smugglers come to get caught? When I started with afternoon, well, you say it's movie-wise uh, operation. It all starts with a submarine, which is a custom-made submarine, uh, probably in Guyana, because you cannot buy this kind of, uh, of vessel secretly, uh, at least publicly, so you need somebody to build it up for you. And the drugs are supposed to be coming from uh, Colombia. The modus operandi is the way it is. They bring it with a boat close enough to the coast, and then you need a second boat. Usually there are these uh, high-speed boats, Zodiacs, that come, take the drugs and bring them to the beach where they are distributed. What happened here, what the authorities think that happened, is that due to the bad weather, uh, it was not possible for these uh, high-speed boats to reach the submarine. So the people on board decided to take it closer to the, um, <clears throat> to the coast and sunk it. It's an international operation involving Portuguese authorities that detected it uh, the 17th of this month, Spanish authorities, UK, United States. So it was a big operation. Once they decided to sunk it close to the coast, they tried to escape. One of them it was even wearing a wetsuit. Two of them have been arrested, two Equatorians, but one man, supposed to be a Spanish man, is still at large. And it was quite a struggle, I gather, to get the submarine out of the water. How did they do it? It's because of this bad weather. When it sunk, they tried to surface it first. Uh, it was not very easy, so what they did is they got inside to see what was actually inside. They even managed to take one of these packages outside to verify it was drugs. Then they managed to surface it, take it closer to the, to the harbour, but it sunk again. And in this last operation, using some kind of airbags, they managed to surface it again and have full access to it. And the police are working quite hard to determine where the drugs came from and where they were destined to end up. Uh, but I gather that Galicia has quite a history when it comes to drug smuggling. What more can you tell us about that? Yeah, it's because of two factors. First, the geography. It's a really irregular coast, uh, a lot of rocks, so it's very difficult to have access to it and also to follow those people who are trying to reach it, so it's difficult for the police. And we have this tradition. It started back in time when they were smuggling any kind of goods in the post-Franco era, starting from medicines. They then turn into tobacco, and with these first arrests because of people smuggling tobacco, they made contacts with the cartels or really big drug dealers, and with these contacts where they discovered, hey, you have a really good infrastructure to bring whatever we need in land. Why don't you use it for drugs, and you will make a lot of money? And that's where this uh, relation between these drug dealers, big-level drug dealers, and Spanish or Galician uh, operators started. Fascinating story. Manu Terradios from Euronews Spanish Service. Thanks very much. A pleasure.